Alright. First question I have for you. Why did you choose to eat at Penn Express with all the other options available to you? Well, you know, Naira, I was feeling um, like I didn't need to eat healthy that day. So I went with Panda Express, and I really wanted some Beijing beef. So that's why I went with Panda. Beijing beef? Why mm -hmm. do you like Beijing beef? Um, it's, it's a little spicy, but your mouth is cooled down with the rice and chow mein combo, so it works out. Oh, got you. What goes through your mind as you choose a seat? Um, I like a clean table. Like, that's really important to me when I choose a seat. And I also like as much distance from others as possible. So, yeah. If I can sit outside and it's nice weather, I will also choose that. But either of those options are good. That tends to be, like, a common theme. Like People want to be isolated from others. Why mm -hmm. do you think that is? I think we spend a lot of time with people because we have practice all day with people. We have class around people, so we need some space, some me time to get our energy back so that we can be around people again and be kind. Yeah. That's true. What particular method do you utilize when trying to get a seat? Um, I just search out a clean table, whatever one is close to me. Um, I don't always choose to sit in Akron, though. I often will take my food somewhere else and sit outside, or I'll go to the coffee shop, or I'll go to the office. But if I have to go to Ackerman, I will, and just choose an open seat that's clean. Is there a purpose for that? If you're going, if you're by yourself and you want to study, are you thinking about that? Is that a factor in you utilizing a method to find a seat? Um... Yeah, I think that would make me want to pick an even more open area. Um, because you don't want tons of people around always in your setting. What do you use your phone? What do you, why do you use your phone when you are eating? I don't always because I'm such a aggressive eater that I don't have time to use my phone. So I'll just eat, 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 and then I'll use my phone afterwards. So you're just someone that can't multitask. You really uh, I'm pretty much a savage with my food, so I know I can't multitask. Back to you. Uh, what do you usually do on your phone? <laughs> um, I'll usually check GroupMe, Teamworks, I'll text people, I'll call my mom, I'll call a friend. Um, I'll go on Instagram and just flip through the photos. Yeah, that's anything I do. I find that interesting. You're sitting by yourself, but you're interacting on your phone. Mm -hmm. You might as well just sit with people to interact with in person. Yes. How do you feel about that? Yeah, you know. Um, but if I'm sitting with people, then I'm not getting that time to myself to choose what I want to do. Because if I'm sitting with people, then I'm definitely not going to be on my phone for the most part. Because then I'll feel like bad that I'm on my phone with the person. So... Yeah, I just need that time to do whatever I want on my phone or to eat or to have that time to myself. So that's why I'm choosing to go away from people. Talk to you. What about the music videos intrigue you since there isn't any audio being emitted? The music videos do not intrigue me. So, yeah, I don't know what to say to that, that question because I normally never look at them. What if it's something that you're interested in? Maybe, like, a, I don't know, one of your favorite music vi videos by, like, Taylor Swift. And she's on TV, but you can't hear any audio. Like, would that be intriguing, or is it still, like, uh, it's just TV? The only reason it would be intriguing is if I am just ordered my food and I'm waiting for my food, and then I would watch. But other than that, I'm pretty much not going to watch the videos. Alright. Yeah. What did you do to prevent a stranger from sitting next to you? I wouldn't say I have any good tactics. Because I've had multiple times when a stranger has came and sat next to me or asked to sit next to me and they'll end up talking to me or something. So I don't actually think I do a good job of that because I do end up sitting by people quite often. Gotcha. What's going on through your head when you are sitting and it gets crowded around your area? Um, I mean, I kind of do it to myself. If you're going to sit in Ackerman, it's going to end up being crowded most of the time, so... I'm not really mad about it because it's just is how it is. So it's my fault, and I should have gone somewhere else besides Ackerman if I wanted to like truly be by myself. Got you. So it's kind of just like preparing for the worst. Mm -hmm. Alright. How do you block out the noise and distractions around you? Um, 
if I'm really focused on a task, if I am, like, studying or something, it's really not too hard for me to do that. Like, I like to study in the coffee shop, and there's a lot of people around, and there's usually music playing, and there's a blender going, and that I'm, like, focused on my task, so I can, I can take out the noise. But if I'm, like, eating, and I'm just eating, then I'm probably hearing all of it. I'm not blocking it out. If it's really distracting, are you more likely to just get up and leave because, you know, you can't really focus? Um, I, I might be contradicting myself from an answer earlier, but when there's noise around me, I do, I can still study pretty fine for the most part. Does it just require you to focus more? It just takes more power and attention to whatever you're doing? Yeah, I guess it depends how motivated I am to study, then I'll focus. What's going on through your head when you can hear a conversation from the people next to you? I'm pretty nosy, so I'm usually pretty interested, and I'll listen, because it's usually kind of fascinating. So, Are you, like, responding in your head, like, oh, do I look fat? And you're, like, looking at her, and you're like, oh, yeah, you probably need to look like that. I mean, I'll look over and, like, see who they are and kind of, like... I guess, make my own judgments about certain things, but I'm usually not making my own response to, like, what their conversation is, because I'm usually just interested in what's going on with them. Oh, so you just want to, you just want to hear their business, you don't mm-hmm. want to really, you know, have your input, but just be an active listener. Yes, exactly. I'm fascinated. <laughs> How aware are you of other people around you? Um, if I'm focused on a task, then I'm pretty much unaware completely, but if I'm not focused on a task, then I would say I'm, like, fairly aware, and I'm looking around, like, seeing who's in there, seeing if I know anyone, so, yeah. You're looking around, making, like, awkward eye contact with, like, Mm -hmm. random people. That feeling like I need to say (laughs) hi and smile, and yeah, that's me. All right, cool. Are you more productive when your surrounding area is loud and distracting, or peaceful and quiet? Um... I think I actually do better with some noise, just, I've been most productive in the coffee shop where there's a ton of noise, but I think that has more to do with, like, a lot of people around me in the coffee shop are studying, and so then I'm, like, more motivated because everyone else around me is doing, like, taking care of work and doing that type of thing, so I'm just more motivated, but, um, and it's, like, somehow it's, like, less distracting to me in some way, because it's, like, there's, like, a lot going on, and so I'm able to, like, focus on my thing. Versus if there's silence, then I'm like, I don't know. I don't know You're why. just in your thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm you're distracted by your thoughts. Uh-huh. Fuck you. Yeah. Um, is it hard to concentrate when sitting next to a TV or when you are working with a group? Um, and the, If the TV has a show that I like or if it's like Sports Center or something, then it, yeah, it's really hard for me to work because I'll want to watch that. If I'm with a group... Not necessarily. Sometimes groups help me, help motivate me, because if I'm by myself, I really don't want to do it. I'll just, like, start doing something else. But if I'm with other people, then that kind of keeps me on track. It's like a accountability. So would you say it's harder to be in a group with friends that, you know, you haven't really talked to in, I don't know, how long, because you're just busy doing work, but, like, your purpose for being with them is to study, not to catch up. Do you think that's more difficult? Yeah, I think it's definitely more difficult to be around friends setting, um, especially if you haven't seen in a while. But because I'm, like, around you guys all the time, then it's not, like, hard to stay around you because I've probably already caught up with you, like, 20 times that day already, so, um, but I think it's, I would rather be in a group, like, to have people around me that I don't know that are studying than I do know. All right. How productive are you studying while you're eating? Not productive because I'm focused on the food. Alright, um, what are some things you notice going on around you while sitting by yourself? Um, I'll usually know, notice, um, if there's athletes, like, especially in Ackerman, I'll notice if there's athletes, like, by the backpack or whatever, and it's kind of interesting to see, like, what food choices they're making, because they're athletes, and they're supposed to, like, be eating healthy, so they can be, like, the best athletes they can be, so I always think it's interesting to watch, like, half the athletes will go and get salads, and the other half are getting, like, the fattening stuff, um, uh, I also notice just, like, groups of friends doing things together and just, like, think that's interesting, like, how much time in their, in their day do they have just to, like, hang out and, like, eat together and, like, do normal things that we don't get to do always, so I think that's interesting. Do you notice, like, a contrast, like, do you think most athletes go to Greenhouse as opposed to, like, Panda, knowing that 
kind of isn't probably the healthiest option, and there's a healthy option Mm -hmm. right next to them. Do you find that, like, really, like, intriguing that there's a, like, I don't know, bigger ratio of people or athletes that go to Panda Express instead of Greenhouse? Yeah. It's right there. Well, I think, like, most of the people who have department charge are football players and basketball players, and so then I don't think the football players feel full by eating, like, a salad from Greenhouse, so I think they need, like, something that's, like, like, more fattening and greasier and, like, is, just feels more filling, so yeah, they usually choose Panda Express, even though it's maybe not, like, the best option for their bodies, um, or they'll choose reviews, or they'll choose, like, the pizza place. It's interesting. All right, thank you, that's all I have for you. Yeah. Come on, sorry, please.